Let us all stand up once again this morning as we read a few verses from the Bible. We've been seeing from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 24. We'll read three verses from this chapter. Verse 15, verse 21 and verse 29. Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, verse 21 and verse 29. Let us all open our Bibles and read along loud. Verse 15, Matthew chapter 24, first. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Let us go to verse 21, Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then there will be great tribulation such as not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No nor ever shall be let us go to verse 29 matthew chapter 24 immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken thank you may be seated this morning we're going to see from verse 29 matthew chapter 24 the words of jesus christ that he spoke to his apostles in 2015 Helena Morris a professor at Sao Paulo State University's Institute of Geosciences and Exact Sciences discovered a particular asteroid it has been named 2015 BZ 509 it later gets to be called as BZ affectionately by the astronomers because it's highly significant because up until this time this was a phenomenon which had never been observed she could not confirm but she was seeing something which was unbelievable in the solar system that there was an asteroid which was in retrograde co-orbit with Jupiter a few days later Dr. Paul Weigert an astronomer at the University of Western Ontario Canada was able to find this particular asteroid and track this BZ with a large binocular telescope in Arizona and in his paper that he published in the journal Nature he confirms its retrograde orbit you would understand what a retrograde orbit is all the planets in our solar system and all the asteroids that are also there in the solar system orbit around the Sun in the same direction because the solar system emerged according to their theory from a revolving cloud of dust and gas so most of the constant objects still continue to revolve as they did when the solar system was formed this theory is called the nebula hypothesis what is this it is mostly accepted there isn't any other theory about how the solar system got created by those who do not accept the Bible they just say that things just happened by chance that there would have been a certain group of gases and dust and elements that started twirling in one particular direction and then they all got stuck together and that's how the solar system formed it is suggested that all these were formed so that they will all be in the same orbit this theory was first developed by Immanuel Kant and published in his book called the universal natural history and the theory of the heavens in 1755 and then it was even modified in 1796 by Perrier Laplace but this retrograde asteroid which they just found repudiates this nebula hypothesis why because according to this nebula hypothesis everything should revolve in the same direction around the Sun it is like if you put certain ingredients inside a bowl and you're mixing it to prepare something in your kitchen if you stir it everything goes in the same direction but imagine even as you're stirring it in a clockwise direction suddenly something few ingredients are going in the anti-clockwise direction how is that even possible because the gravitational force of the Sun and the planets that are there in orbit around the Sun they pull everything and all of them go in the same direction but this 
particular asteroid proves that the solar system was not a creation was not an occurrence was not something that evolved by itself just because certain things got together at some point in the past this shows that god is the one who is in control that is why everything goes in one particular direction except this asteroid there are even some comets which are identified which go in another direction and this turtles and they have no explanation for it they'll come up with new theories but the bible says in psalm 19 verse 1 the heavens declare the glory of god and the firmament shows his handiwork god is the one who set this and the bible tells that he is a creator much before these high powered telescopes were there these high powered equipments were there for astronomers to be able to even identify these things there are many other such things which tell that the bible is true and real in the coming weeks we'll definitely look at them one by one and maybe one time i'll gather it all together so that you can know it all one by one and you can let those who do not believe in the bible listen to it and listen to you even as you get to know it so that they will know that god is the one who created the heavens and the earth and he's in control of the solar system and the earth and everyone who are there in it we've been seeing the cosmic terrestrial order of events that is why god is sending signs through the cosmos to man even before man was created the cosmos was created so that there could be signs in the heavens all the different formation of the stars that are there that we pass through through the different seasons and to the different periods reveal to us the work of god they were the ones that are used by the ancients to know which part of the year they were in because as the earth revolved around the sun at different points they could see the different constellations that were there and god is in control that is why he uses all of them to prove that he is the one who is the creator these things didn't happen by chance or by themselves if you are willing to observe and look at it if you are willing to search it out and receive it then you will save yourself we've been seeing from the cosmic terrestrial order of events that jesus reveals to us in matthew chapter 24 and explains them with parables in chapter 25 we saw the first in the order of event is the beginning of the birth pangs second was the end of the age which starts as the third occurrence is the rapture of christ disciples that take place and the fourth we saw is the antichrist the idol and the false prophet being there inside the temple of god acting like they are the creators and they are the gods you got to know that you're in a supernatural war each and every one of you i want to remind the church again and again because the church in the world seems to forget this the people of the world need to know it if they know it then they will live life differently then they will be prepared then they will understand why certain things are taking place in their life why there are cycles and patterns of defeats and failures why there are attacks and why certain things happen if they are aware and if they accept that there is a war between devil and man between devil's children and god's children between the gentiles and the chosen people between christ and the devil the church and the devil then they will be able to put on the whole armor of god and stand on that evil day i can tell you i know people's lives in which exactly on that particular day year after year season after season they face certain problems in certain parts specific parts of their life i'll be bold enough to say i do not know if you're willing to receive it but that is the truth that there are certain evil spirits demons which have been assigned which the enemy has planned which he sent on that particular systematic fashion across the world they come and they want to attack and they want to come and destabilize they want to come and give problems so that you cannot proceed so that you cannot grow so that you can not go to the next level that you're supposed to go in but if you realize an attack and look at it and seek god and if you're willing to listen then with discernment these things can be found out it cannot be found out with just your mind it cannot be found out by just using your emotions all that will not work you need supernatural revelation the bible speaks about it being even a gift 
of discernment to know what exactly is happening in the invisible supernatural dimension which is merged with this natural physical world that each and every one of us are in we saw the details about the antichrist so that you will know that it will not be a wonderful time but it will be a most horrible time it will be a time where hell is set loose on earth that he will be cruel the antichrist will be a deceiver he'll be powerful and he'll have the devil's power and he will deceive the people of the world and he would do terrible things and destroy many people and to assist him and help him even a false prophet would come with that same authority and he will force the people of the world to worship the antichrist and to receive the mark of the beast the false prophet will make the whole world worship the antichrist but all that is something which would be a deal breaker if you receive the mark of worship the beast then you will not be acceptable unto god those who receive the mark will have no salvation we will be able to see at a later day how this mark could not just be a sign but something which could even alter the very state of a human being that you might not even continue to be considered a human being after that that is why we can see clearly that this mark seems to make god take his hands off because the salvation of jesus christ is not for the fallen angels in the same way the salvation of jesus christ will not be for those who are not human beings receiving the mark would make them transhuman might make them cyborgs might make them a different version of a fallen nephilim which would be unacceptable unto god fifth we saw lastly about the great tribulation that will be there on earth when the antichrist and the false prophet are there those will be the days where you cannot stand and fight against the devil but jesus says those are the days to flee run and hide where there will be unseen horrors almost total extinction the time will be shortened and those will be the days of deception and jesus reveals to us in the book of revelation how these things take place after he receives the scroll with the seven seals he will open them one by one and we saw how when the first seal is open the antichrist will come on the white horse the second seal will be wars and murders the third seal will be famine and hunger and the fourth seal will be death and hell quarter of earth's population 1.95 billion people will die if quarter of the city of chennai dies chennai is right now supposed to have 8.6 crore people so 2.2 crore people will die on chennai if it happens immediately imagine 2.2 crores 220 lakh people die in the city in the short span of 300 years i do not know whether even the burial grounds will be sufficient what will happen at that time whether the services that are there to handle such a situation the funeral services will they they'll be able to cope up how it would be outside the city they might have to go and just dig some places i think entire regions could get wiped out do not take this covid-19 to be one of the last pandemic that will hit the world in 2002 in 16 november in fushan in gangdong china the first outbreak of the sars covid was identified and that is the severe acute respiratory syndrome and it affected over 8000 people in 29 countries in 2002 right up to 2004 and nearly 774 people died but nothing changed after that in that same nation in december is when it is reported in 2019 nazia you, you know the new strain of the same virus closely related to the same sars has hit the whole world originating in uha of the hubei province in china just this week on 17th september cnn reported that another kind of fever called the malta fever or the mediterranean fever which is called the brucellosis which has even been confirmed by the health commission of langzhou the capital city of gansu where nearly 3245 people have contracted this disease called the brucellosis 
which is caused by contact with livestock carrying the bacteria of brucella this is not the end there will definitely be other things that will rise up because of the evil that is there on the earth because men would not listen men would not change their ways they would not stop spilling innocent blood they would not stop abusing fellow human beings in a nation which is atheistic and communistic where there is no respect or regard given to a human life they treated worse than animals it does not matter unto them that even if the soldiers die it is not even officially confirmed that so many soldiers died in a particular battle or in a particular war because it doesn't matter all that matters is the communist party that is there and when we have no regard for men we end up becoming worse than even animals and when man becomes so evil then evil will give birth to something that will hit and that will increase the darkness there will be many more such terrible things that will be unleashed on earth but you do not have to worry amen because you are protected by the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus there will be darkness we saw in the book of Isaiah the prophet said intense darkness upon the earth but the glory of the Lord will rise upon you you will be protected by him but Jesus has warned us about these things so that you would not be shocked when these things suddenly are announced and they take place that is why even past nearly almost two years on and off and especially in the end of last year we've been seeing about the things that will take place in the last days so definitely i was not shocked about when these things took place from march in our city and in our nation i could almost say that i hardly even prayed that this should be lifted up there are many people praying all around saying oh god stop this but when it is already prophesied in the bible you cannot stop it by prayer you cannot change what god has said what jesus has said so all the prayers almost seem to fail because they did fail to see what was written in the bible already we've got to see what season we are in what period we are in and we should be people who understand the times and the seasons through divine revelation and divine knowledge then we will be prepared we will not be shaken by it we will be standing in alignment with god we will not be standing in front of him and trying him to stop him from doing what he's already written because when it is written it will definitely take place you need to be baptized in the holy spirit if you're not because these are the last days and jesus will come in the cloud of glory and he will shout the trumpet of god will be sounded and the dead in christ will rise first and then we who are still alive and remain on earth will be caught up in the heavens and will be transformed in the twinkling of an eye amen are you ready clap your hands and say i'm ready oh lord jesus <laughs> jesus told in matthew chapter 25 how the kingdom of heaven will be likened to these 10 virgins five were foolish five were wise we need to keep our lamps burning Luke 12 35 that's what he says let your ways be girded and your lamps burning i'm reminding you this the very point we are seeing all that jesus has said in matthew chapter 24 is so that you'd be prepared as all this is given to you as you receive the knowledge of the most high and receive his understanding which he alone can give you got to know that the most important thing is you got to have the holy spirit in you leading you each and every one of you need to be led by him so that you'll be safe you got to listen to him you got to do what he says you got to know what has to be done in that particular day you cannot just say oh they did this in the past so let me just go ahead and do it others are doing it let us also do it those churches are not doing it so let us not do it those churches are doing it, so let us do it no we got to listen to god clearly and follow his instructions you got to listen to the leading of the holy spirit then he will want you to be safe and he will keep you safe and he will not let you be ashamed at any time you've got to come to that level of maturity and we also saw in that same all over discourse in that same preaching in that same teaching that jesus gave his apostles and disciples on the mount olives 
when they asked him when these things would be and he speaks about all these different things that will take place he continues in Matthew 25 though the number of the chapter has changed doesn't mean that Jesus stopped speaking and this is another topic altogether we see in Matthew chapter 26 verse 1 it says then Gen- Jesus finished his sayings about the last days so it goes on till that point you've got to understand that and what is the second most important thing that he revealed in 25 which is part of the Oliver discourse is that you've got to be a profitable servant he tells the kingdom of heaven is like in verse 14 a man traveling to a far country and he calls his own servants and delivers his goods to them and then he comes back and he takes accounts he asks each and every one of them what have you done with what I've given you and so they give a report it is like an appraisal most of you know and are aware of it and have experienced it in your workplace and every student in school knows you've got your cycle tests you've got your midterms you've got your revision you've got your half yearly your quarterly your finals all that is where you are tested all that is where you give account where you sh- show that you prepared yourself that you studied in the same way you got to give account to a god this is what the bible says you need to align your life according to it there is no need to be afraid there is no need to worry god has sent his own spirit his own holy spirit which led jesus to do such supernatural things on earth to fulfill the plan of god in his life that same holy spirit is there inside of you and he will make each and every one of you with great ease fulfill his will and plan and then you will be rewarded amen you will receive the reward that is waiting for you but if we reject the word of god and we live our life in our own terms according to our own philosophies and according to what we think is important according to our own mind or the people of the world then this statement would have to be said by jesus matthew chapter 25 verse 30 where he said cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth but that's not what is meant for any of you turn to jesus and surrender your lives to him ask him and he will lead and guide you so the sixth in the order of events that will take place what jesus has been speaking about in this all of it discourse is the judgment on the wicked the great tribulation will take place as the antichrist the false prophet and the idol are set up in the holy of holies and they go about forcing people to receive the mark of the beast and to worship the idol and when that happens those who are true those who are left behind those who did not align their lives before the rapture would at that time realize that they had missed that opportunity and now they have the last chance to connect with Jesus Christ and so they will refuse to receive the mark of the beast and to worship the idol they'll be Christians they'll even be other non-Christians because they would have heard the truth of the gospel of the word of God and then they will say now I realize there'll even be Jews who will refuse to worship that idol who hold on to the ten commandments and all those would get beheaded and they will die as a martyr unto God and those will be the ones who will be there under the throne of God and when almost all those who stand for Christ almost all who refuse to receive the mark of the beast get killed and they go up to heaven then immediately Jesus says after the tribulation after that tribulum the word that he used tribulation is from that ancient threshing floor tool that we saw a few weeks back a board which has jagged pieces which has sharp flint stuck to it like knives that are there and the wheat is placed on the threshing floor and the board is placed on top of the wheat and it is run over it so that it cuts up the husk and separates the wheat from the stalk so that the distinction between the two will be very clear and easy to separate the tribulation will separate those who truly are the disciples and those who are truly love God and those who want to give in those who have no courage those who at that time will yield to the pressure of the antichrist 
and the false prophet they will receive the mark and that will separate that will be the deal breaker when that happens we saw what jesus said the last seal that we saw last week is the pivot is the point from which things will take a different turn i told that last week itself let us read what happens when jesus opens the fifth seal in revelation chapter 6 verse 9 onwards revelation chapter 6 verse 9 onwards jesus opens the fifth seal and when he opens it we see him seeing john the revelator saying i saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of god and for the testimony which they held and they cried with a loud voice saying how long o lord holy and true until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth so they're asking god o lord we've been slain for the word of god and for the testimony because they held on saying we will not receive the mark of the beast and they've been adding up there and so what happens in revelation chapter 6 verse 11 the following verse it says then a white robe was given to each of them and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed so it starts happening right from the time the people are forced to receive the mark of the beast and those who refuse might get killed and beheaded and from that time these souls who are slain for their testimony and for keeping the word of god adds up and they start crying out to god asking him for judgment but god knows there is a set time and that's why he gives them a white robe and says wait there are certain number which has to come and so god waits for the time to be completed the number to be completed and when that is completed then the judgment on the wicked would start and that is when jesus will look at the number that is completed the days that are completed and then he will open the sixth seal because when he opens the sixth seal there will be vengeance that will be taken on the wicked immediately after the tribulation the sun will be darkened and the details of this matthew chapter 24 verse 29 the verse that we read are given to us in revelation chapter 6 verse 12 onwards that when jesus opens the sixth seal first thing that will take place is that there will be a great earthquake the earth knows in anticipation in expectation of the judgment that is going to come upon the earth the the earth trembles and quivers and shakes almost in fear knowing that jesus there in heaven has opened the sixth seal and now the judgment is going to come and strike the earth and the earth almost like a living being gets shaken up before it receives this judgment upon him itself the bible says in isaiah chapter 39 was 9 saying behold the day of the lord comes cruel with both wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he will destroy its sinners from it because at this time almost everyone who stands up for christ have been killed most of the people who are there the majority and almost all of them who live there are the wicked so that is why god is waiting for his judgment to be started all those who are true to him will be taken up first the church will be raptured those who are true to him and those who have died in christ for all the generations past they are also cleared up and then after that the time is given for those who failed to be taken up in the rapture so that they can also be saved at that time and after all of them a clear out of the earth then the judgment will begin because when the judgment hits the earth it will hit the entire earth it will not just look at one particular region it will strike every nation every continent oh you will see now what will happen there will even be continental shifts even the earth will be shifted the first thing that happens is the earthquake for the day of the lord has come Isaiah 13 verse 11 says I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity I will halt the arrogance of the proud and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible this is how the world has been all those who receive the mask all those who worship the devil with their arrogance and their pride they blaspheme god and they 
rebelled against God they blatantly openly they confess that they do not want Jesus Christ they would rather be with the devil and so when they have made their stand clear they have failed to realize that the life that they have has been given by God this body though we are the ones who feed it and we are the ones who can think that i'm working and i'm feeding myself every cell belongs to jesus whether you like it or whether you accept it whether you belong to jesus or not the earth that you're standing in that your feet is resting on was created by god the air that you breathe was created by him the water that you drink was created by him that is why no other planet can we find water no other planet can we find a habitable environment there is nothing else which can give life to men except on this earth so all that we have ever had in our life belongs to god you can buy a piece of land and get a document you might be giving money to the government you might be giving money to the people who owned it previously but it, the whole earth belongs to jesus you can rent a place and then sublet it after that but the owner is the owner you can go to a commercial place or a house and you can take a house with three bedrooms and then in the three bedrooms one of the bedrooms you can give it for someone to come and maybe a student or some other worker and you can get rent from them and you can get a rent which is higher than the rent that you're paying you might get that three bedroom house for let's say 10000 and you give that one room for 20000 you can do whatever you want but there is a owner of that building one day when he says i want this back you've got to clear it all out in the same way this earth was created by god there is no way any scientist could create another planet you need raw material you got to go take it from another planet or take it from this planet i'll put you out in the outer space of the vacuum where there is nothing and let me see you speak another planet into existence and speak an atmosphere speak and create other things none of that is possible you know if you set up a colony in mars you got to take things from earth to go and set it up there why i'm telling that is we've got to realize this life has been given by god and we've got to give him thanks we've got to look to him and say thank you god for this life you've given me thank you for this earth that you've created when we realize that and when we thank him then we will set our lives in right alignment with the truth of the word of god but when people refuse and reject it they will receive the judgment god is merciful god is gracious god is kind god is compassionate that is why he doesn't bring the judgment upon the earth even now he waits he is given 2000 years for men 2000 years till jesus died this is the time and the period of mercy and grace we are preaching the gospel you hear the truth are you still resisting god is still opposing him have you surrendered your life to him have you acknowledged him have you given your future into his hands if you do so then you are full of gratitude and thanks is given by you unto god and you will be rewarded for that after the earth quakes immediately it says the sun became black as a sackcloth of hair revelation 6 12 a black sun will rise up over the land and it'll go up the days will be darkened you'll be able to see at that time how everything changes in the world in the earth there is so much just this one part of this one verse you can see the entire planet will be affected when the sun is darkened it doesn't give its life sun is the source of life for all the living things on the earth the plants need the sunlight to be able to survive and live and all the animals and all of us feed upon the plants that are there imagine for three and a half years the sun is darkened what will happen to all the plants if they die then how will all the animals survive and how will we survive after that you can plant something you can sow something but will it grow will you be able to reap everyone is going towards solar clean energy and they're setting up solar panels all over the world 
and they are shutting down nuclear plants and they are shutting down other hydroelectric plants saying they are a problem for the environment but what will happen at that time if you are buying Tesla stocks then maybe you have got to as soon as the rapture takes place offload it because all the solar powered things will maybe not work after that even the wind will stop on the earth the wind farms will cease to work everything will come to a standstill at that time because the wicked of the world have just at that time killed so many lakhs of those who believe in God brutally just because they didn't receive the mark just because they didn't worship the beast should they be killed Jesus never says in the Bible kill all those who do not accept me there is no holy jihad given by Jesus Christ in the Bible he says love your enemies and we are merciful and kind to those who do not accept Jesus we respect every human being on earth who oh, they are everyone in this nation is our brother and our sister we love everybody on the earth it does not matter what their skin color is what their caste is what their background is but at this time the wicked of the world just because there are certain people who refuse to receive the mark or worship the idol when they kill them they are shedding innocent blood and they will have to be judged at that time if you are a class teacher and you have a bully in class a particular class student who is hitting the other classmates what would you do as a teacher you will just watch and let it happen if you are a parent you have few children in the house and one of your child is hitting the other what would you do if you are working in the office and someone is doing something wrong in the office what would you do we want justice when we are affected but when God sits on the throne of judgment everyone wants to find fault with him and make it look like as if he's doing something wrong that's what the wicked the people of the world who listen to the devil believe that's the mentality the devil gives that even the Christians do not believe in the mercy of God that they have no proper understanding of Jesus Christ he's merciful he's gracious he's compassionate he's long suffering he's waiting for everyone to turn and look to him but here they have made a bold and a clear statement and saying that God did not create the solar system that's why I saw that the retro orbital controversy which contradicts which repudiates the nebula hypothesis because they do not accept or acknowledge God they just say the Sun just was created by itself it just happened when a previous star exploded and then all these gases were twirling around in the cosmos suddenly they got attracted to each other and then they got together and that's how the Sun came into existence and that's how all the other planets also came into existence and that's how life also came when they say that God will block out the Sun because their calculation is the lifespan of the Sun is 4.5 billion years ago it started burning and it will have another we are right in the middle there's another 4.5 billion years for which the Sun will continue to exist after that it will expand it will collapse on itself in the core but on the outer region it will be something that will shine brighter 30 percent more and when the heat and the light increases it will absorb and pull in all the planets that are there the entire solar system will be burnt up and it will collapse to itself and there will be a supernova an explosion that will take place at that time but God will confuse them at that time everyone who fails to accept that God is the creator the Sun will be darkened at an unexpected time because right now the calculation is for another 4.5 billion years it will continue to shine so don't worry you don't have to worry about the Sun let us just look at it and enjoy it but suddenly it will be darkened and they will have no explanation just like how when they saw this asteroid going in the opposite direction they haven't found an explanation for it they will be confounded at that time a ghoulish blood moon will also move over the earth red in color the darkened sky as this red light hits the earth it'll be eerie it'll bring in terror 
and fear in the hearts of men at that time they will be shaking and they will tremble they will feel the wrath of god at that time the presence the atmosphere of the earth will change everyone will be able to sense it at a time those who fail to sense the presence of god at this time during that period as the very elements as the very cosmos speaks and judges the people on the earth saying i was created by god and you are not accepting that we are the sign which will speak to you saying that you have done that which is abominable that which is terrible and we will fail to give and support life to you asteroids will strike the earth revelation 6:13 says stars of heaven will fall to the earth in the english it is written as stars but in the greek it is asta the word from which asteroids come in and they will come and strike the earth there are so many of them which have now been identified and almost every other month there is a report of an asteroid which crosses the earth's path and they saying these are near earth asteroids and no one knows some of them only after they pass the orbit of the earth they have been identified they have not even been seen before that so don't think that everyone has got all the information that there is someone there who is watching and looking and observing they have not identified every asteroid that is there and tracked it down and its orbit the solar system alone is so vast that there are so many objects which are yet to be identified they have not even noticed it till now and they would not definitely notice at the time when asteroid starts striking it will be too late by the time they see one particular asteroid heading towards earth and not be just one in the end of last year i was telling about how the bible speaks about asteroids falling and we saw in the beginning of this year in detail about what will happen or not when these asteroids strike them but this morning there isn't time to look at that in detail i'm just telling you and giving a brief overview just from these few verses in revelation chapter 6 when the sixth seal alone is open this is not even a full chapter we've got so much more that god has revealed to us that will take place it'll take few months to look at it in detail maybe another coming months we'll look at the entire book of revelation from the beginning to the end then you will understand all that is going to take place according to the word of god not only will asteroids strike the earth meteorites will rain fire it literally rain fire on earth you will see fire falling from sky if you're there on earth at that time and they will come and strike even in india it has started striking huge metallic burning rocks balls which hit and they can hit through reinforced concrete no building can survive they are like bombs that are dropped from the bombers that fly in the sky during a time of war they will break through the ceilings and roofs they'll break through floors they will demolish building with the speed at which they come and strike the earth you cannot even survive inside a car it hits a car it will flatten the car and the bus and everything on the road everything that is outside even buildings will not be able to survive it there are bunker penetrating bombs that are there which have a solid metal titanium tip there are people who build bunkers concrete solid roofs so that they can be safe from the bombs that explode most of the bombs as they hit the bunker they explode outside the bunker so the people inside are safe therefore to demolish the people inside they come up with bombs which are like a javelin so first it will penetrate inside that bunker that solid metal rod and then once it hits the floor inside is when it will explode these meteors will be of such kind they will penetrate through any kind of material that man can create and it says in revelation chapter 6 verse 13 as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind here are ripe figs in a tree hundreds of them i don't know if you've seen it and imagine a mighty wind hits it then simultaneously hundreds of them will fall down there are certain gooseberry trees which have such gooseberries i don't know if you've seen it's there in your house you shake that tree then all of them fall and hit you on your head have you gone under a tree and seen it 
imagine meteors strike earth in such a fashion like late figs that fall when the tree is shaken in a mighty wind the sky will vanish there will be no more sky after that because men did not acknowledge god that he created the heavens and the heavens of heavens there will be no sky god roll it up like a scroll and put it in his pocket and walk out they look at and there'll only be darkness the earth will be surrounded by utter darkness night and day revelation 6:14 says the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up it will vanish because all the stars of heaven will stop shining their light all the stars none of the constellation will exist at that time they will be shut down like how the sun is shut down men will be there when this dark sun goes around they'll know that the sun is there this is supposed to be the day but it'll be dark like a night and in the night a red blood moon will pass through making everything reddish in color that will add to their fear there'll be energy crisis oh everything will collapse at that time the systems that have been set by men it might take months or years for them to be able to set it back up and get it back running but it will be too late by that time every mountain will be moved out every mountain revelation chapter 6 verse 14 says every mountain the himalayas will not be on top of india and the bottom of china it will be somewhere else if there is no problem given to the gwalin problem by then then definitely there will be a seizing of all that border problem at the time because the entire himalayan region would move every mountain that is there so if you got some property in kodaikanal or ruti when you see the rapture happening immediately sell it because they will be enveloped this also share, reveals to us because the devil likes to set up things on top of the mountain to deceive the people all of them will be swallowed up not one of them will be there people will go there trying to find it nothing no trace of it will be there as the mountain gets moved everything will be swallowed up that is on top of the mountain and those who are there at that time they will also be swallowed up because that is the judgment given for deceiving the people of the earth not only will the mountains will be moved even the islands will get moved out every island it doesn't say just a few islands sri lanka would not be there you can go to rameswaram and think it's just there nearby but it will not be there if it is moved there is no assurance given that it will be in some other place it can completely submerge it can completely collapse bible says every island it means every island will not be there so if you got someone living in an island tell them as soon as you think the rapture has taken place come to the flatlands if you're on top of a mountain come down if you're an island run away flee from it because we know that there are seven major tectonic plates that the earth is enveloped in the mantle that keeps shifting pangea as they say was one but there was a time when they were divided the bible speaks about which particular day in which the earth was divided and that is the truth till then it was one but then it was divided and separated and that's how the continents came into existence and the tectonic plates will move at that time that's how the mountains will be moved the islands will be moved every earth every part of the earth the land will start moving everyone will be shaken up at that time there could be another reformation at that time the map of the world would look different after that the continents might not be where they are they could all combine together they could all be in different clusters we will see from heaven yes or no amen everyone on earth will be affected no one will be exempt at that time revelation 6:15 says the kings of the earth and the great men look at the category the rich men the commanders the mighty men every slave and every free man there is no one who will be on earth at that time will not be affected by the judgment which is going to come on the wicked that is why god is going to take the church away that is why he wants you to have the fire burning that's why he wants you to make it at the rapture and if someone misses it he is giving them another few months at that time they can again choose christ 
Because all those who are left behind at that time will be affected. Everyone will flee their homes and their palaces. No one will be able to live in their house or in their palace or in their fortress. Because as the meteors rain fire on earth, as asteroids strike, there will be no building that will keep them safe. The only place that could keep them safe will be mountains. That's why they say in Revelation 6, 15, hide themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains because they think only that can keep them safe. And at that time, every con- tongue will confess the truth. Verse 16, Revelation chapter 6, it says, And they said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. At that time, they will realize that there is a God, that what these Christians have been preaching about and what the Bible has been telling about, they will go and hunt and find a Bible and they'll read it and say, it has all been written. What the Bible spoke and wrote thousands of years is true. And it is all taking place exactly according to what the word of God has said. And then they will confess saying that Jesus is God and he's the one who's judging the earth at that time and no one will escape. They themselves will say at that time, Revelation chapter 6 verse 17, for the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand? No one is able to stand. None of them will be able to stand. For they are the days of judgment and days of vengeance. Luke chapter 21 verse 22. Jesus says, for these are the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. No prayer will stop it at that time. You can fast and pray and do all kinds of things, but you've got to know what is written in the word of God. Isaiah 13, 7, 8 says, Therefore all hands will be limp, every man's heart will melt, and they will be afraid. Pangs and sorrows will take hold of them. They will be in pain. As a woman in childbirth, they will be amazed at one another. They'll be shaken up. They'll be in a state of shock when they look at each other. Their faces will be like flames because the sky will be burning. Jesus prophesied this. You've got to know that what he has said will come true because we saw how when he prophesied the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem in Luke chap- in Matthew chapter 24, verse 1 and 2, that took place. He said, not one stone will remain upon another. That's a remarkable prophecy which requires extreme accuracy. Not one stone in this temple will remain upon another. Let us take this church. If it is said not one stone on this church will remain upon another, that is something that requires meticulous planning because even if you demolish it, you bring in a JCB excavator and you demolish it, there'll be pieces of wall which will be stuck together and there'll be 10, 20 bricks stuck together, yes or no? Because they're cemented together. To say that not one brick will be on top of another is something that is only God can say. And when he has said it and it has taken place, it's just a flat piece of land now. The temple mount, nothing is there. That's history. When the Roman soldiers came, they toppled stone by stone. Because by accident, the temple that was there caught fire. And when it caught fire, the gold melted in the temple. And therefore, Titus gave the order to the Roman soldiers, not one stone should be on top of the other. Remove every stone. See if there is gold that has melted and gone in between the stones so you can scrape it out. So they went stone by stone, toppling it around to check if there is gold and that fulfilled the prophecy of Jesus. When he has said that there, then all these things, every word of this will come true. Why well, I'm telling you this so that you can save yourself, so that you can tell others of your family, so that you can tell others who are your friends and your relatives. Ask them to read this. You read it to them. Ask them to watch this so that they will know the things that are going to take place or not. The seventh and the final thing we will see will be the second coming of Christ after the judgment. Let us now stand up and connect with God. Let us once again rededicate ourselves as we Read Psalm 91 from verse 2 where the Bible says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and Him I will trust. 
we're going to confess unto Christ once again we're going to declare and proclaim in the house of god let it be known to heaven let it be known to earth let it be known to the devil and all the kingdom of darkness who we belong to that's why we're going to say that jesus christ is our lord are you all ready this morning amen you don't have to sorrow like the world oh god will shepherd you he will take you you don't even have to look at the things that take place at that time you will be there in heaven in glory hallelujah amen let us read verse 2 and let us confess all of you as loud as you can psalm 91 verse 2 i will say of the lord jesus he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i will trust let us all read together psalm 91 from verse 1 to the end of the chapter he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i will trust surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge his truth shall be your shield and buckler you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noon day a thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand but it shall not come near you only with your rise will you see and look and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the lord who is my refuge even the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways in their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent you shall trample under foot because he has set his love upon me therefore i will deliver him i will set him on high because he has known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life i will satisfy him and show him my salvation hallelujah what a awesome god with long life not just on earth but a long eternal life he's planned for each and every one of you amen let us pray thank you heavenly father thank you for your mercy and your compassion that you sent your only son jesus christ thank you jesus that you waited 2000 years for all of us to come to that understanding to come to that place of accepting you you're patient you've been waiting oh lord oh thank you for your love thank you for anyone can call on you and get saved pray oh god that you'll touch each and every one who are here this morning who are watching pray that oh you would speak to them oh holy spirit and quicken them and revive them pray that oh lord all their requests and all their prayers be answered pray that every need be met in jesus name that they lack nothing oh lord pray that every sickness and disease would leave in jesus name from the bodies of each and every one who are watching and hearing this oh pray that every hindrance every barrier of the devil against their life be removed in the name of jesus pray that your light shine in their world oh master upon them pray that your face would shine upon them oh lead them on pray that oh master your blessings would continue pour out your love let your joy oh lord bubble over let each and every day on earth for them be like a day spent oh lord in heaven pray that oh master you'll cover them with your blood and with your name once again bless each and every one here everyone watching in the name of the father the name of the son the name of the holy spirit in jesus mighty name i bless each and every one of you god bless you why don't you clap your hands and give praise and glory honor and thanks unto a god god bless you i'll see you all